Hey guys, I'm Janet on occasion, and today we're playing some more Gladius. Uh, that's right, I found an excuse to play another Gladius campaign, because I always enjoy playing Gladius. Are we playing Astra Militarum this time round? I've still never played an Astra Militarum campaign on the channel, and I wanted a good excuse. That's right, I tend to come back and play the older factions if I find reason to, and there is a good reason. Uh, well, alright, there's a good enough reason. Good enough for me, at least. Uh, there's a new DLC that just adds a smattering of units. Adds ten new units, like every faction gets one. And uh, the Astra Militarum, they get the Rogal Dawn main battle tank. So we're going to be able to recruit the Rogal Dawn in this campaign. So I want to do that. I want to do that. It's as simple as that. I don't care if there's a hole at the bottom of the tank or not. I think it'll be a lot of fun to play as. So uh, initial challenge is going to be hard. It is quite difficult. Um, your troops are very, you know, lowly armoured. Any random neutral uh, monster can just show up and tear them to shreds, so it is a little challenging, but it's uh, it's fine, because we have billions of men. Inexpensive range of retrievers susceptible to morale. We have heavy armour, mighty armoured vehicles with many upgrades, thundering artillery, extremely long-ranged artillery, uh, imperial bastion, defensive fortifications to keep attackers at bay, and bureaucracy of war. Issue city edicts to increase the city output. Uh, through, though our tanks and artillery are mighty, it is the vast ranks of Imperial Guardsmen that should trample the enemy to dust. Let them come. Escar E. Creed, Lord Castellan of Cadia. The Astra Militarum, commonly known as the Imperial Guard, is the primary fighting force of the Imperium of Man. Across a galaxy of 100 billion stars, there must be billions of Guardsmen at least. Yet even the Departmento Minutorum on Terra, which oversees this immense force, has no real idea of how many troops there are at any one time. A safe estimate is to say there are millions of regiments. What the Imperial Guard lack in strength, courage and resilience, they make up in numbers, organisation and fighting vehicles. The Guard's wide range of tanks is rightly feared. The manpower of the Astra Militarum is predominantly human though they do not employ stable mutant strains, sorry, though they do employ stable mutant strains, such as the giant Bulgrins. All these troops are equipped with the best mass-produced weaponry that the Tech Priest War Manufactories can provide, though it is often backward compared to the uh, that wielded by their enemies. Across the vastness of galactic space, the vast majority of the Imperium's battles involve the Astra Militarum. It is by their actions and endless sacrifice that mankind has claimed and held its place in the universe. And we are going to be fighting against one of every faction, at least I think that's one of every faction, if not close enough, playing on hard difficulty, which honestly is um, going to be a heck of a challenge, and all of the DLCs are on. Firepower Pack is the, is the latest one, by the way. It's like, it's under three pounds, it's pretty cheap. So, you know, for the sake of having a Rogal Dawn in your campaigns, I think it's good enough. Uh, also, um, the Necrons get their sniper unit, and uh, Orcs get a Death Dread. There's some there's some cool stuff about, for sure. So, anyway, it's pretty good. Uh, let's get to it. Few worlds were as pristine as Gladius Prime, or so well located. Soon after its discovery, it grew into a rich Imperial world. Then the Orcs landed, and it burnt. We, the men and women of the Astra Militarum, answered the call to battle the Greenskin Menace. Yet we died side by side with the Orcs when the warp storms hit and the Necrons awoke. Whoever our foe, we will reclaim this world and its ancient riches or we will die trying. For mankind and for the God Emperor. I can love that there's absolutely no mention of the Space Marines. It's just like, the Space Marines didn't even bloody turn up. <laughs> anyway, um, everyone's at war with everyone, though, because this is Gladius, and I didn't put on teams or anything. So, anyway, uh, we start uh, a bit broke because it wants us to build a city, so we should probably go ahead and do that, huh? Is that a good spot for it, really? You reckon? I mean, plus 50% food there, and really close to that uh, fermentation pool for extra population growth. That could give us those billions and billions of men that they promised. So, um... Yeah, let's go here, and we'll build loads of food. Yeah, alright, let's do it. 
So we start with three guardsmen. Uh, most factions only start with a couple of, uh, of units. We really do need three. You really do. Uh, okay, let's go there. We should be able to kind of gang up on those cultists, I reckon. Uh, so, a few different things. We have, uh, so, oh, I must say, right, for people who haven't watched me play Gladius before, I read all of the things. We get a pop-up for each new thing that we happen to bump into. So, every new thing we bump into, I'm going to read about, because I, I like to get immersed in the world, and I think it helps everyone else sort of get invested in uh, in the universe and what we're doing. I find it it's fun. It's a nice way to sort of learn along as you play and, and feel invested. So, um, feature that ends the movement of a unit and deals damage each time. Why are weed? Woe betide anyone who wanders into these thickets of brambles. Slowly at first, but faster and faster, the living weed draws his razor-sharp filaments tighter around the hapless intruder. Uh, in other words, don't stand in that weed, it's bad. Found a skull altar, special feature that provides a recurring reward to units entering the tile and increases the influence output of a city when captured. Rising from the ground, the skull altar is formed out of the violent tributes heaped in offering for Korn's throne. From atop the grisly pedestal, a priest of Korn roars out in invectives, evoking the judgement of the blood god to smite down all signs of weakness. So these guys did just get a uh, bonus plus 17% attacks, which is very handy. And that will replenish every now and then. We'll be able to get that on new units as well. So Necron Tomb Discovered. This is the only place where uh, Necrons can build new cities. So hopefully with it being nearby, they won't be able to do that. So deep beneath the innocuous patch of land lies a tomb city where the Necrons have slept away the long millennia. To one who knows the correct protocols, it's a simple matter to begin the procedure of awakening it and its inhabitants from their dreamless sleep. A Sororitas holy site over here as well. So this provides uh, bonuses, yeah, research bonuses to hospitalers for the Adept of Sororitas. The tabernacles of the Adept of Sororitas are not merely holy sites. They also house relics of ancient sisters, weapons, armor, and valuable tactical advice. In times of dire need, the sisters may take them up again and use them in war. Fermentation pool discovered uh, is full of lager, I believe. Um, this apparently nat uh, natural water source looks welcoming to any wildlife, but woe betide. There's a lot of woe to betide, by the way. Um, any thirsty grox that wanders by, the pool's unusual bacteria rot down the planet's plant life and concentrate the runoff into something lethally intoxicating. More advanced races can collect and refine the liquid for trade or entertaining consumption. And uh, finally, the Chaos Cultists. The cultists of chaos can be found in one form or another almost anywhere the Imperium has spread. At first glance, they are indistinguishable from normal men, but under their clothes, their flesh is tattooed and branded with sigils that hurt the eyes of any faithful who look upon them. When the Chaos Space Marines come to a planet, their true colours of the cultists are reve uh, revealed. The powers of darkness are ever quick to promise glory, and even the lowliest initiate knows that to fight alongside the legendary warrior sorry, such legendary warriors is to court the gaze of the gods. Yeah, too right. Yeah, these cheeky boys. Very cheeky boys indeed. So, our cities need orders. Let's uh, acquire a tile, shall we? Let's get this really juicy one. Or will we? You know what? I'm almost tempted just to build a barracks now. I think I may, I may make a barracks straight away. Uh, I'm going to do that so we can start recruiting in five turns. I know, it's still quite a few turns. Oh, we got um, game speed on fast, I believe, by the way. I find any slower and it just it drags. Um, but fast, you can kind of like, if you get a new tech, it can swing a battle pretty quickly. Um, you don't have to sort of build a whole new army every time you get some new tech because there's so much space between, you know. So um, let's have a look. Getting some heroes early is very, very useful. Getting some ratlings will be very handy. They can move after shooting, which makes them very good sort of skirmishing units. Frag grenades really help upgrade uh, our boys, though. And in Manufactorum, let's just get vehicles quickly. So there's a lot of useful stuff here. A lot of very useful stuff here. It's all great, in fact. I think we'll probably, unlike most campaigns that I play, I don't think we're going to be racing ahead, even though I do want to get... There's the Lehman Russ at Tier 6. Uh, Rogal Dawn is tier 8. It's going to take a long time to get there. But I think we need to be quite thorough at the bottom of the tech tree. So that's what I think we're going to try and do. Be fairly thorough. We're going to start with the grenades because it lets our guardsmen actually handle a lot of the wildlife. Because one grenade and you basically wipe out a unit. And that is huge. That is such a big advantage. 
So, life in the guard. Gladius Prime had seemed an excellent placement for a senior Imperial administrator. With its rich resources and strategic location, it was both easy and prestigious to rule. For the local people, life had been by the book, until the day the planet's space spa uh, stations fell flaming from the sky and the orcs descended, followed by even worse Xenos horrors. The resident space marine chapter stood fast, could, uh, but could barely hold out. As the commander of the reinforcing Astro Militarum forces, you landed on the planet months ago, but the unexpected reappearance of the planet's warp storms has trapped you on the surface. You've regrouped the surviving civilians and Astro Militarum troops into one city, but there are still soldiers scattered beyond the walls. We must gather them, rebuild our cities, and reclaim this planet for the Emperor. Our first aid is to get the Imperium's war factories back online. In an Imperial Manufactorum, colonists can live and die without ever seeing the outside world, endlessly building war machines for the glory of mankind. And, it, and that's what we need. That's why, that's why we fight. So people can work until they die. Hell yeah. Research Manufactorum will build a uh, Manufactorum as well. So, fine. Uh, they are going to overwatch me, aren't they? They've only got one range, though, right? So I can shoot them from here. Uh, which would be... Oh, Jesus, hello. Well, I regret everything. Uh, oh, you can't quite get close enough to help. It's okay. We're going we're gonna to try and deal with as many of these guys as possible. And he's going to have to sit back in the fermentation pool. And hopefully they won't drink too much. Uh, so there's something else over here that we want to grab. Uh, oh, we found a Shikero encampment. That gives us extra um, influence, which is useful. Special feature that allows a hero unit on tile to purchase and sell items. Uh, if you have a little regard for your life and seek excitement, visit the Chikero. Imbued with an instinctive technical creativity that exceeds even that of an orc mech boy, these orange furred aliens resemble a great Terran ape. They look like orangutans, guys, but can create wonders beyond imagining. The challenge is in acquiring them and safely working out what they do. Uh, what? What did you want from me? What have you done? Oh, hang on. Oh my god, I can shoot from here. That's incredible. Oh, that's jolly handy. Didn't do much damage, but it's pretty good. Uh, oh, you can cycle through weapons. I'd forgotten you could do that. Oh man, it's been so long since I played these guys. Yeah, you can swap between crack and frag grenades. That was a crack grenade, so it didn't do much. The frag grenades would have been great at dealing with them. So we'll, we'll have to do that later. Plenty more cultists running around. There's a webway gate over there too. So webway gates are interesting because the Eldari can literally just like turn it. They, they know where they are all across the map. They have line of sight on every webway gate and they can just immediately like turn one on to convert it into a settlement for themselves. At a cost, of course, but it means that this could turn into a settlement at any time. So it's really good to get rid of them early. You know, I should have shot with the other two first. Or I should have shot with you first. Then he could have moved back. It's very silly of me, really. Let's do that. That way he can just stand there and overwatch, essentially. But this is nice. We got rid of some of the wildlife. That's something. And Webber Gate discovered. A galactic tapestry of shimmering strands used by the Eldari to traverse the stars without risking the dread realm of the warp. The webway once spanned the galaxy, even stretching out into the empty void beyond. I mean, that's impressive. Impressive how much they've fallen. These days are long gone. Uh, ravaged by war and catastrophe, many of the tunnels that have, uh, have been torn open or amputated, and a great number of its entrances have been sealed. Despite the degradation, the Eldari still rely upon the webway for swift travel, and using webway gates to enable this. Okay, moving on. More cultists on their way. Okay, you can move over here. Uh, let's get you over here. All right, both of you. So I'm pretty sure they got rapid fire on this, right? They do have rapid fire. So if you're at half range, you can shoot twice. Um, but basically it just means that they have range two. So if you're within one range or something, you get to do more damage. Pretty straightforward. Uh, two more turns and we can start recruiting folks. Our population has gone up for uh, Ananke. Ananke? Anank? Anank. Ananke, I'm going to go with. And assume it's German. And uh, that's how Germans would pronounce that. 
Uh, so, flag grenades. The lethal storm of shrapnel from these grenades drives opponents further under the cover for a few precious moments, allowing attackers more time to close in and hopefully get the first blow in against a disoriented foe. Yeah. I mean, that's certainly why I wanted it. Alright, you just have to sit there until you healed me. Like, one thing jumps on him and kills him, but I'm going to be very upset. Uh, so, Manufactorum next, I think. Even though there is some good stuff here. There's a lot of good stuff. And you can get to best of Scions. Huh. Yeah, I suppose you can. I don't know why. I just, I, I'm surprised they're in this game. I don't know why. They've been in it forever, haven't they? Anyway, uh, let's get the Manufactorum next. And next turn, we'll be able to start recruiting some new guardsmen, and we can start claiming some tiles. I really want the food one, because we are going to be spending food, you see. Oh, whoops. I thought I hit end turn. Apparently I didn't. Oh, I didn't. I did well enough. Um, but yeah, we definitely want to get more stuff recruited in a hurry. In a big old hurry. Things are scary. But yeah, let's take this uh, big food. Big, big food, plus 50%. We can start building the uh, Soylens farms here, and that should give us plenty of food to muster a huge force of guardsmen. Because um, that's what we are going to be relying on at the start of this campaign. And it does look like we can take out these Crute Hounds in one turn, which is great. There are some Chaos Cultists nearby again. Uh, oh, so we're at the bottom of the map, so actually I should grab that. As soon as he's healed up, I'll go grab it. So the Crute Hounds that we just killed. Uh, the pseudo-avian Crute is uniquely flexible, able to absorb the genetic data of other races by consuming them. But sometimes, isolated Crute communities run into uh, evolutionary dead ends. The Crute Hound is one such dead end, a devolution of the Crute into a wolf-like species. On Gladius Prime, they have run feral for generations. So what I find interesting about the Crute, um, the Tyranids do the same thing, where they just, like, collect you know, genetic data to sort of create the perfect bioform. Um, and yeah, Crute do that naturally as well. Obviously they don't have the hive mind and the horrible, like, existential malice, you know, associated with um, the Tyranids. But it's, it's interesting they decide to give the Crute kind of like that same power, I guess. Is it a power? I mean, they ended up as an evolutionary dead end, but the ability to sort of adapt like that is very cool. Makes them interesting sort of fodder for the tower, you know. Um, Grenko's has been discovered. So I do want this this artifact. That will give us some bonuses. I just don't know what those bonuses will be yet. I'll have to wait and see. Okay, looks like the cultists are going to stand here and shoot me. Nope. That's surprising. That is surprising. Okay, let's move you over here now. And uh, then you can stay there until you're rested. I don't see anything else over there. So, do I want to run into here? I think I do, because, yeah, there we go. Because I want to deal with them, you see. Ow, uh... Alright, grenade time. I right-clicked when I meant left-click. <laughs> also, I meant, let's use another one, rather than sneeze. Came out wrong. I always get those two mixed up. Uh, so they're dead. Uh, I think he heals. You heal while he shoots. Alright, and we'll get rid of that too. So, our cities need orders. Uh, food. Foodly food food. Let's get more food. Although, if I acquire another tile... Oh, I can't acquire that far away yet. Jeez, okay. Let's start building Soylent's farms. So we are obviously going to have uh, pretty quick growth. So our population is going to go up fairly fast, which means we're going to build, we need to build a hab block pretty quickly. So there's going to be a lot of stuff we're going to have to try and keep on top of, which I'm generally quite bad at keeping on top of. Okay, they're more injured than them now. They've been chaos cultists, man. Just not stopping. So, we have the Manufactorum research. To call an Imperial Manufactorum a factory is akin to calling a Catacan Devil an insect. Catacan Devils are very big, by the way, that's... That's the joke. Uh, these Cyclopean uh, structures are huge, forbidding temples to the uh, machine god, wherein his miracles, here vehicles of war, are created. Inside them, lowly menials are doomed to never see the planet's surface as they ceaselessly minister to the blessed engines of Mars. Fun. And it lets us build all of the things, including Bane Blades. Can't wait to get some Bane Blades. 
I mean, even Lee Madras is I adore. I think they're such a cool, such a cool tank. Ah, uh, it's Messima. So it looks like he's going to have to heal while he shoots the Webray. I don't know. So they're probably going to run away now, which is a bit annoying. But we do have more Guardsmen on the way, so... Uh, okay. Inspired training increases the production output of Imperial Barracks in the city. That might be a big help. Or move to the hab block now so I can get that out of the way. Ooh, I don't know. There's a lot of good stuff here. That increases production output of Manufactorums. I mean, see what I mean? Everything, like, low level is really powerful because, I mean, you saw what the Manufactorum can build, right? It can build Bane Blades. It builds the greatest vehicle in our arsenal. And you can get it tier 1. So on tier 2, you can get research that gives you more Bane Blades. So, yeah. It's, it's a very good faction for having, like, just decent stuff all the way through. Um, it's tech tree, you know. And yeah, he's running off. Although, looks like we'll be able to catch him and hopefully grab that. These do give quite good bonuses. I don't know what that one will be, but these relics are pretty powerful. So yeah, we'll leave that for now. Uh, this will almost certainly get taken um, from us. Let's see what this one is. This is an old one artifact. Uh, this one increases damage. Awesome. Yeah, having like a damage bonus would be great. This artifact is clearly of old one design, but despite that, has no immediate effect until combat is joined, whereupon a psychic roar shakes the warp, and all living races feel themselves driven into a frenzy of bloodlust. Even the soulless Necrons are driven to greater efforts, albeit by the sight of their ancient enemies' designs. Nice save. Good save there. You know, it almost sounds like it makes no sense that the Necrons should have it, but no, they, they hate their ancient enemy, the old ones. They were a part of the war against the old ones, you see. And seemingly, they won. Though it's hard to tell. But, you know, the old ones aren't running around anymore. So, where are you going to go? Uh, I feel there's a few directions I go in, but I kind of want to skirt around the bottom. In a couple directions. I think we're going to send him over this way. Just to scout along here, see if this is indeed the coast. I want to see where our borders are safe, you know? If I run off in a billion different directions, I'm not going to have a, a good indication of what my borders actually are. So we're going to keep doing this. They cost, um, they cost some ore and some food, but they only cost food upkeep, so pretty useful. And we're getting a lot of ore at the moment. So moving on, he's going to run off, which is annoying, but fine, I guess, broadly. Uh, oh no... Oh. So, Enslave is like the worst thing for us to bump into. Like, genuinely. Uh, they have a move here. Enslavement. It basically just goes, you belong to me now. And that's that. That's all you can do. Um, I guess I just shoot him. I guess I just shoot him and hope for the best. At least I can kill this guy. You know, once he's done. Uh, so there's Vespid Stingwings as well. Hopefully that Castellan robot won't get near. This was ambitious. So the thing with these artifacts is they only spawn in, like, kind of the broadly the middle of the map. Though it kind of could... That shape can jiggle around a bit because of the random generation of the map. But they start generating in the middle of the map and are guarded heavily by stuff like Enslavers and Castellan robots and stuff. So grabbing one of these early, big, big bonus. But it'll cost you. And it looks like we may have been a little bit ambitious going for that. It just didn't look like it was very protected. But obviously the trees covered up everything, so I don't know. It's tough. That was risky. That was risky. So enslavers, during the war in heaven, which is the one the Necrons were, you know, fighting against the old ones. Uh, legend tells that the old ones engineered new warp-sensitive species to defeat the Catan. Crook who are orcs now, Eldari, you know, the Eldar, man, and more. Yet they bargained without the denizens of the warp, the most numerous of which were the enslavers, or sirens. These trans-dimensional beings were able to rapidly enslave the new races, and hence aided in the downfall of the old ones. Today, enslaver incursions are rare, but extremely destructive unless ended quickly. Yeah. Yeah, we need to end that quickly. Oh god. And Stingwings. Vespid Stingwings darted to battle with unsettling insectile speed. The high-pitched whine from their wings inspires atavistic revulsion. 
seeming to come from every direction at once as it echoes and bounces from ruins and wreckage. When they strike, the Vespids do so with lightning speed, dropping above sorry, dropping from above with their neutron blasters emitting bolts of translucent fire. Each shot shimmers clean through the armour of the foe, scouring their bodies from, uh, with massive doses of radiation and burning them alive from the inside. Thanks. And the Castellan Robot. Castellan Robots are ancient monstrosities that stamp at a war, each an unliving giant assigned a deadly purpose by its master. Soulless, these metallic golems are given thought only by the Doctrina wafers in their recessed chest slots and the Cybernetica Datasmith that program their every move. Doctrina wafers just big microchips it's just <laughs> it's just storage drives you know um these machines are walking relics from eons past and all the deadlier for it the air nearby thrums with power bullets ricocheting from repulsor fields that glow like golden cages around them volleys of phosphor blast and promethium incinerate their foes wherever they may hide and crushing fists bring ruin wherever they strike the violence meted out by each maniple is as inspiring to the Omnisire's faithful as it is terrifying to his foes. Yeah, that's true. We also found some ruins of all. Uh, it's unclear what this is. Some time-worn structure rearing up from the shattered surface, made from the same impregnable, uh, impenetrable material as the rare artifacts that dot the planet. Much can be learned merely from studying it, and perhaps it still houses some secrets itself. Perhaps. Um, and yeah. Cool. I hate it. Thanks. Um, <laughs> thanks, game. I hate it. I hate all the things. Um, I guess we're going to try and push through that wire weed just so we can scout that. If we take a little bit of damage, I don't think I have to mind much. I might be safer just to go this way. I mean, we're going to keep getting more folks in, aren't we? Um, let's go to the Soylent's farm. I mean, we're getting so much food from that, which is nice. We definitely need to get that, like, mana pool or whatever. Yep, yeah, they're enslaved. So they're not ours anymore. If we do kill the enslavers, we get them back. But, I mean, what are the odds of us killing that enslaver when all these guys are attacking a guardsman? Slim is the answer to that. Pretty slim. Oh my god. Yeah, they're still absolutely fine. I think I've just cost us another unit. I think I've just cost us another unit. I don't think we can handle it. I don't think we can get them. Oh, I'm disappointed. Although... This is good. Anyway, we're gonna lose them. That's fine. I'll let them die. Uh, we'll attack them in a more concerted manner another time. But yeah, definitely should have just skirted him down this way. I thought, well, they did some damage before, right? Maybe I can. No, no, it was a waste. Promethium relay pipes. These heavily armored ducts once carried energy-rich promethium to the planet's extensive human cities from deeply buried auto refineries. Now, with the cities in ruins from war and chaos, the surviving pipes can be exploited by whichever race claims them first. So that's nice. We get some extra energy, which would be good when we start uh, driving things about. And our population's grown again. Awesome. We need more buildings to actually man them, but you know. Oh, those poor guardsmen. Yeah, they're going to break soon. We'll see if we can, like... Wow. Nope. Nope. They're dead. Very dead. It's alright. They'll just probably try and defend that old one artifact. They will die. It's, yeah. Sad, but inevitable. They're Imperial Guard. It's what they do. Okay, more men. Churn them out. I mean, you're getting one every three turns. Didn't do bad. Though we did just lose... Oh, hello. Luckily, we're in ruins, so we are going to have a defensive bonus here. Uh, Alright, kick off with a grenade. And that gives us a slight advantage, though honestly not a great one. Could definitely do with more, more guardsmen. Oh dear. Yeah, the fact they got the first hit is upsetting, to say the least. Oh no, there's another unit. Okay, I need to start retreating. I need to bring these guys down. Hopefully these guys can get in range. So we've got the hab block. That's good news. The classic imperial structure. These identikit city buildings are seen all over the Empire. They provide the minimum amount of shelter and comfort required for the people of the Imperium to eke out their short lives. At a colony's founding, sometimes they're built in situ, but more often on remote planets, they're dropped directly from any colonizing spaceships. Which is pretty crazy. Alright, so we can pull back, and I'm going to let uh, Overwatch do the work. Um, two more turns, sadly. 
Uh, let's have a look, actually, if there's any more useful stuff to grab. I mean, this gives us bonuses to a lot of different things. But that's only if we build the thing, right? That is correct, right? We're not just getting, like, a plus 50%. No. No, you only get plus 50 on the stuff that is built there. I don't know why I'm having to check that. Like, it's... So often there'll be a mechanic that I have assumed is one way for, like, forever, and I've just never thought to check to correct it, you know? But no, that is how they work. Um, so good. I'm glad. Hooray for me. So you're gonna overwatch. Okay, you'll do more damage as something moves towards you. So that should be better than trying to shoot now. Um, crack grenades would be nice. Rattlings would be good. They'd really help us, like, with this skirmishing that we're involved in. Although, actually, getting some heroes would be a big deal, too. So Shrine of the Aquila might be a good idea. I think we'll grab that. I mean, the Chimera would be great, too. Uh, the Chimera, I don't think, can be mind-controlled, so that would be quite nice. Cult Mechanicus is good, too, and get more Engine Seers. Those Engine Seers uh, are only great research, so it's kind of nice to have a recruitment building that also gives us research. But the... Um, yeah, you know what? I am going to do that, so I can get more research. That's what I'm going to do. So all this stuff will be quicker. Um, but the tech priests are... I mean, we saw one at the start. They're the ones that build the new cities and things. So we will probably want more of those. Oh, hello. Perfect. Thanks. Hi there. Hi there, Mr. Stingwing. And we got Overwatch there, too. Basically wiped out the unit. This is perfect. Thanks, guys. Thanks, enemies. Aw, they killed Jeff. Aw, sorry, Jeff. He was called Jeff, by the way. I named all of them earlier. Didn't want to bore you by listing all their names. Really? You couldn't kill that one more? Okay, fine. Fine. See how it is? I'm going to use a, a frag launcher. Alright? Nothing you can do about it. Okay, we destroyed that. Looks like this is all coast. I will have to move slightly further to check, I think. Um, well, this seems fine so far. I'm happy with our progress. You know, we're getting buildings built. And... Um, we have plenty of food. We're churning out new units. I mean, I don't know what more we could ask for, really. Okay, let's keep going down this way. And I want you to go over to there. And you stand there. You stand there. Okay. Cities. Uh, yep. More guardsmen, please. Good. So how are we doing, anyway? We are only using four of our five population. Um, after this is built, we're going to have to build a hab block. Actually, we're going to have to acquire a tile, then build a hab block. Uh, let's give us three slots and potentially more food. Again. So I'm going to grab that, we can build a hab block, and then two more food nodes. Or do you want to take somewhere that has three slots and won't upset? You know, won't be like lower our maximum amount of food. I think we'll build here. We'll build a hab block. And then here we'll build um, more food. So we'll acquire another tile. And I'll spend time building more tiles, but I think it'll be fine. I got this guy's just going for it as well. Really nice, these Stingwings, just to decide they're going to die instead of whatever they were doing earlier. Yeah, you can head down this way, actually. I'll leave this open. I want to, I want to look at the edges. I want to scoot down the edges. Let's start shooting with you. Ah, oh, can you really not get the kill? That's disappointing. That is disappointing. Now you keep shimmying. Um, I mean, I can move closer than shoot. I think I will. Go and better move him down to here. You see, you can't get the kill now, right? <laughs> oh my god! Okay, the damage they took. Ah, oh, meant that they took too much damage, and now they're dead. Now they're not dead. I was really hoping to move him further down. He's going to stand there and heal. Which is fine. Yeah, it's not a problem. Okay, there's more of my guardsmen running around. If we do kill the enslavers, we get them back. It's just we're not going to, are we? So, have block. And then once we're done with that, uh, we'll take that over. Alright, you stay there till he healed. Oh, more cultists. Okay. Time to use the grenade. Good initial gambit, for sure. More webways. Although it looks like there's more resources here. It looks like a, a shard of all, I think. 
I think that is. So we'll try and grab that. Oof. Alright, they're doing some damage. I'll move these guardsmen down. We can do the old shimmy. So the tech priests worship of the Omnisire, a machine god, would surely be frowned upon were it not for their usefulness. Instead, a tacit agreement is in place. The tech priests acknowledge publicly that the Emperor was the Omnisire, and the Administratum agrees not to pry too closely. I think you're taking too much damage. Um, let's pull you down this way. Let's get you over here, right? If you can move just up one more space and they keep chasing, then great. Also, if they move up here, we'll overwatch before they shoot. So actually, that little retreat step puts us ahead in terms of killing them, which is nice. Uh, is this coast? Is this literally a dead end? If that's the case, that's brilliant. That's really nice. Oh, more guardsmen. Alright, you can head up here then. Let's get into these little woods. Uh, there's something else over here too. Another shard of all by the looks of it. So, good. Uh, it gives us research, which is perfect. Definitely want more research. Speak of the devil. Uh, okay, now... I always ignore chimeras for, like, forever. I really should get the chimera. Uh, increases loyalty, that will be useful at some point. Meta packs are very handy. Just lets you get a nice little, every like 10 turns, or maybe even 15 turns. It's, I think it's a bit longer than grenades, but you can just get a big heal uh, for your troops. So you don't have to sort of camp for as long. Uh, which is really nice, I really like that. But, I also kind of want heavy weapon squads. Oh, and Rattlings, still want Rattlings. Shrine of the Aquila is really good too. Yeah, it was Shrine of the Aquila. That's what I'm going to do. I need heroes. I want to get some heroes out. Because I want to get them some experience, you know? Oh, they didn't keep chasing. Well, that's a bit annoying. But fine, largely, I guess. Uh, hopefully this is another dead end as well. And then I can just focus on pushing outwards. I can build, like, another city down here or something. You know? Take advantage of more of the local resources. Be pretty cool. And I wouldn't have to defend from as many angles, which would be very beneficial. Unless, of course, an air force just shows up over the water and blasts me to bits. I mean, that is a thing that can happen. But anyway, we'll get that hab block done. Luckily, how it looks like we'll get there. Yep, that's a dead end. That's amazing. Okay, love that. Let's have you come up here to these ruins too, because this is a lot. This is a lot. We may need to retreat back there as well. Wait for more guardsmen. Okay. How are we doing? You stay there. I don't really want you shooting anything. Because I think the overwatch is better. Although these guys don't trigger overwatch. The crude. Though he'd have to walk around this way. Which would stop them from being able to get into position to attack me. So, yeah. Because I don't think they're going to want to go on the wire weed. I don't know. I'll leave them. I can always just run away. I've got a pretty clean route to run, so... Yeah, I think we're okay. I'll get more guardsmen up here. God, we have loads of potential guardsmen that can run up here, actually. Because he's kind of free now, isn't he? Because these two are headed down this way. Ah, there he is. There he is. Oh god, hi. Well, I wasn't expecting that. Not sure why I wasn't expecting that. But I wasn't. Um... I guess you can shoot, because, you know, you're not going to trigger an overwatch if they try and attack you next turn, so probably best we just deal with them. Um, Alright, you can head to the city, because you heal quicker there. Population growth has gone up, we're going to get another hat block. Okay, we're not going to bottleneck our population like I do every single campaign. Okay, they're very, very hurt. Definitely a problem. Oh, hang on. They're attacking things. I don't know what they're attacking, and that's iffy. But they should be dead. So, far more than a mere statue, this great metal eagle was cast from the molten remains of spacefaring vessels, and serves as an inspiration for those nearby. The Imperial troops that fight under the Aquila's ceaseless vigil find a new determination welling in their hearts, knowing that they are the last in the line of heroes that stretches across the stars. Oh, really? You're not going to be dead? Well, that's disappointing. Alright, you run over there. You mostly kill them. Thanks. Um, now you guys... God, we have a lot of 
We have a lot of guards. <laughs> Feels good. Feels good. And yeah, so much food coming in. We can just keep recruiting them. Um, so again, you just stay there. You just stay there. I think we're about to bump into a neighbor. Because remember, I, I am playing on a quite small map, and I have filled it to the brim with enemies. So we are going to be facing up against a lot of things pretty soon. Uh, so I could get myself a Primaris Psyche, which I think could be quite fun. But of course, we can't get it until we build... Um, let's get that. Let's get inspired training. I do need to build some Manufactorden. I just realized. So we want to build one over here, I think. So we won't acquire a tile. We'll get the Cult Mechanicus. Wait, no. Manufactorum. The Cult Mechanicus is, is for the Tech Priest and Research. Okay. So we'll get the Manufactorum built. That will trigger a story beat, but that's fine. But yeah, we need, we need vehicles. We need to start getting vehicles. I think that's the biggest priority. Any more Croot? But yeah, there's probably enemies over here. Uh, okay. Nothing here yet. Interesting. Uh, you can also go in there. Interesting. Yeah, you stay there. That's fine. Okay, he's still healing. Maybe I should have shot him. Oh, not another enslaver. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Why is there one down here? This is right on the border. Oh, that sucks so much. That's two we've lost to enslavers. Two. That is... Oh. Brutal. Absolutely brutal. Alright, you stay there on your own. Um, you're done. So you can head out here too. Can't really deal with fighting them, can I? But I need to push in with everybody. I mean, they, the enslavers can do that every three turns, which is the insane thing. So, like, unless you've actually got some decent, like, hard-hitting units that can kill them in, like, a hit or two, you just can't kill them quick enough, and they're just going to keep massing an army against you. They're the worst thing to bump into in the early game. Yeah, we're just going to have to sit back. With all the trees as well, I cannot hit them with anything. Oh, we need artillery. That's what we need. We need artillery. Yep, no idea how I'm doing with that. Not a clue. God, I hate that. I, I genuinely think that the enslavers should have like a cooldown on how long they have something under your control, like under their control. Because the chances are, if you're in a pitched fight, they turn one of your guys. You're gonna have to kill one of your guys to get to the enslavers or stop them killing you, right? And so you're still losing stuff out of it. But like, I don't feel like it should be permanent. I feel like that's a bit much. But, oh well. Just gonna have to live with it. Because, yeah, when they can just come out of nowhere and just grab you, it's um, pretty annoying. Okay, what else? Yeah, I think just get the manufacturer and build, then I will take that over and try and get more food. Although, it would be good to get more ore as well. We don't have anywhere good for ore. That's iffy at best. You know, 10%. Um, some of these are 20 but, I need to be able to spread further. Increases loyalty. Where's the thing? That one. Increases the tile acquisition radius. That's what I need to be able to get further out. So I think I'll make do with the ore that I've got at the moment. Because I do seem to be sat at that amount of ore. Um, quite comfortably. So, do I charge in here and try and deal with it? Or... Do I not do that? It's a really sucky question. Alright, let's move you guys up here. Alright, we're going to push this way a bit, see if we can grab that. So at least we're doing something. I'd love to grab that, but I can't find another enslaver. Um, hold position. That's fine. I mean, something might move over here as well, which is a pain. I really wanted to like clear this out, so I didn't have to babysit down here. But... Don't really have much of a choice. And there's my guardsman. Very annoying. Poor guys. 
Uh, that's the life in the guard, isn't it? That's life in the guard. Shoot your friends. No, that's that's not the motto. Um, so anyway, Edict Astra Militarum to all commissars and recruitment officers. Volunteering sweeps have to be doubled. The Emperor's mercy is to be applied to uh, all recusants. Okay. Move you forwards. Let's move you forwards. They're going to try and shoot me, which is very rude of them. I'm going to throw a grenade at them, which is very rude of us. Excellent. Can't quite finish them, sadly. Almost. Almost. Those cultists have uh, bad morale, so I think we can get on top of them, but I don't know what they've been fighting. They've definitely been fighting somebody. And we might be about to start a war, which would be very awkward. Oh, sorry, guardsman. Sorry. Sorry. Sorry, everyone. Uh, but anyway, I like how we're developing this place. I think we're doing um, we're doing it well. I'm pretty content. Uh, yes, we've lost three different guardsmen so far, which is pretty staggering. Um, but they're guardsmen, so that's kind of how it works. Um, now I need to try and remember what hides the HUD. Nailed it. I'm the, I'm the greatest. So guys, if you enjoyed this episode, please do comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Take care, guys. Whoever our foe, we will reclaim this world and its ancient riches, or we will die trying.